then what I'll be doing is I'll go to edit. There is an option which is sky replacement. So I just click here, and you can see my sky is completely replaced with all these buildings and all over here being intact. So if you go here, this is a sky replacement tool. If you click here, you get three options: blue sky, spectacular, and the sunsets. So as we can assume from this lighting that this seems like a sunset over here, then we can apply the presets which are available to us inside sunset. You just click here; it will automatically change. This also looks like a stormy sort of sky that a storm is gonna come or heavy rains. This was inside sunset. Let me go back to specular over here. Here, so you once you click, you get these different different options. Also, there is a rainbow over here. I think I would like to go with this one over here. Now, once you select this, you have got the sky over here. Right now, there is an option which are shift edge. Plus, there this is the option of uh, brush sky brush extend or reduce the sky area over here if you want to do that. So, we could have something like this. Now, this is a shift edge over here on on the below edges over here. How much you want to shift? I do not want any shift over here. This is the fade edge. How smooth do you want to blend the edge? This will look like a cutout basically if you do not fit the edge. So let me go here and keep this at 48. Now this is the sky adjustment. This is the brightness of the sky. How bright you want. So right now, right now I set this to 3. This is the temperature. This is basically the cool temperature. This is the warm temperature. So if you slide your slider here, it will turn towards blue. If you slide your slider towards here, it would move turn towards yellow and orange. So hence I, I think that it should go towards yellow because of the character. It's as yellow and orange is for the light is falling over here. Now the next option here is of scale. So this is currently on 100. If you want, you can increase this. If you want, you can use this too. If you want, you can also flip this. I do not want to flip over here. But I think yeah, this is fine. This is the lighting mode. What you want, you want on screen or multiply. By default, it can multiply over here. So let that remain the same. Now, this is the foreground lighting. How much intensity of light? You want it on the foreground, so it is only affecting the areas which is this character, the area where she is sitting, and the building over here. This is the edge lighting between the sky and the building over here. And this is the color adjustment, like how nice you want to blend this with your sky. This is completely unblended over here. So I think this looks nice to me with 84 as color adjustment. And then if I click, uh, the, then there is option of output to new layers or duplicate layer. So I would always prefer this as new layer so that I get the controls inside that. And this is on and off. So original it was this, then we made it to this. Now the next option over here inside the sky replacement tool is the hand tool if you want to move anything and over here is the magnifying glass. If you press alt or command option on your Mac then it would turn it to minus and it would zoom out basically. Control zero to fit to screen and then I will say okay. 